We're Eisens. And, and we're, we're chatting, chatting with, with Live Music T.O. The name Horizons uh, came from the original three members, Cam, Doug, and Ben, who had all known each other from previous projects. They were just pretty much getting together and starting a new thing, and pretty much thinking uh, of words that sort of fit the role of what they were going for. And Horizons came up and they stuck with it. I guess just under two years at this point, it'll be a few more months before we hit two years. As far as genre goes, we don't like to pinpoint a name for what our sound is, but People like to refer to us as post-hardcore because we have the screaming and the singing and they're working together. But we're sort of trying to bring new flavors into that using samples that um, are used in other types of music. So like more hard-hitting dance sort of influence stuff or dub or whatever, whatever sort of comes to mind. And as far as the scene in Toronto, uh, from the bands that we've played with, it seems like we're usually close to the lighter side of things as far as like heavy music goes. With writing music and lyrics, we honestly, we take it from past experiences in our lives. So like whatever's going on in our life at the current time or uh, whatever we've been through as a band, we like to write about. And uh, we reflect that in the mood of the song and uh, just generally throughout the different parts and different feelings. Right now we're just sort of writing off our EP and, and touring in support of that. So I uh, can't exactly say that you can expect new tunes soon, but um, we play a new song live and we're always writing. Our music video has had a pretty overwhelming response as far as what we expected for it. Um, the part that we feel drives uh, kids into listening to our music is the energy we try to put into it to um, express those emotions through, like, musically. Uh, we feel that that's probably our strongest uh, thing about writing music because we see the energy that kids take from it and then like when we play live, it's sort of like a rebounding thing where like they give us energy, we give them energy and that's what drives our music live and in the studio. Even from the time that we recorded it to when we released it, there were things that we already said, all right, that's already changed about us, that's already changed about us. So at this point it's like, okay, the next video is gonna be a totally different direction. Personally, I hope that if a kid's gonna leave a show that we play, uh, they would come out of it thinking, wow, like these guys really care about the music and they care about us as fans because that's what we do. Like when we uh, when we play a show, we play for people. We don't play to gain exposure or do that. I mean, like obviously that's part of it because like what's a band without exposure? But I mean, when we play, we play for the audience. We put on a show for the audience. We get the most out of it when a kid comes up to us and says, I was blown away. Even like, it's happened where we felt like we've played our worst set in a while and it will be coming up to us and saying like, honestly, that was the cra craziest thing I've ever seen. And we're just like, Earth? <laughs> and that makes it worth it. The tour we've been on right now is with our good friends in Dancing with Paris. And it was actually, we got to go all the way out east to PEI and Charlottetown, Halifax, Fredericton, New Brunswick, and like a bunch of places we've never seen before. So it's just been an amazing trip overall, getting to see some awesome sights and everything. And as far as shows, kids have been loving it every night. Halifax, Nova Scotia was absolutely insane. We're working on lining up a, uh, a US tour for the first time. I think if you haven't seen us before, it'll be an emotional performance, it'll be an energetic performance. and. Um, so something that we always ask is that people give us energy. June 23rd, I believe, at the Hard Luck. And that'll be us and Dancing with Paris and Doug Booth. Am I totally off base? Yeah. Feral the Freeway, sweet. We have this little game going! Oh! oh. <laughs> you totally would do it. Yes! See that. Yes! That was a good one. It's a okay. tour game. Don't let me hanging. Don't let me hanging. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was, that we've, was got, we've got a little tour game going. Uh, we don't know really what we're going to call it yet, but... It's called Wet Sack. Wet Sack? Okay, we call we'll call it Wet Sack. Um, much, yeah, you want to sing? Yeah, sure. Uh, Dancing with Paris introduced it to us, so now we're just taking it way too seriously. Um, basically what it involves is what you just saw. You just take a bottle of water and you hit get someone, someone in, the in the crotch. Area. And, and then someone they, looks like they peed their pants all day. And, and they then, can't get you back. Yes, and then you just gotta get someone else you in another band. The, or, you have yeah. to keep it going, you have to pay it forward. It gets out of hand. It gets, it gets <laughs> ridiculous. This is out of hand. Thank you. 
Alright, this is Horizons and we're here on the fabulous life of... <laughs> when Horizons tour, they like to take their whopping 15 passenger van. It's got four tires, <laughs> four wheels, diamond studded, <laughs> and no glove compartment. Um, okay, we'll cut that. I ran out of ideas, but uh, yeah, this is the bed setup we have. Yeah. Usually, Cam sleeps up here. Cam, our um, tech slash merch slash everything guy. And then it'll be me, Doug, Ben on that bench, drummer Cam on the floor, and then Chris on the back bench. We've got a mascot that comes with us. He's feel feels good man Frog, and he always rocks Horizons merch. We don't have a name for him yet. We picked him up on the shore of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, he lost his eye. I don't know what happened. A curious battle with he's a little, sword. he's a little hollowed out, but he's still alive in our eyes. I think we were going on the highway and we realized that we didn't have enough downward force when we're moving, so we got one of these guys. You can just see it at the top of the trailer there. It's a shark fin. Um, so when we're going at the our standard 180 kilometers an hour on the it's highway, actually 200. Sorry, and 200. It's miles. No. 200 miles an hour. Sorry, I got that wrong. Sorry, I wasn't. He doesn't drive. I, to say. Most times when we drive that fast, I just pass out because it's too much for my brain to handle. But uh, yeah, so we got that, and it cal it helps us. Like we cut through the air more when we actually lift off the ground. It uh, also assists with underwater travel. Yeah, because we do that a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. We didn't take the ferry. We went underwater to PEI. It was pretty great. 